Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome to another video. In this video, you are going to learn how to use the Arduino IDE. Of course, you are going to get better at this over time when you start working on it yourself, when you start making your own projects. But these are just the basics that will help you start learning. And for this tutorial, you are going to need an Arduino Uno. And you can use any other Arduino board, but I will suggest stick to Arduino Uno because then we will be on the same page. Also because Arduino Uno is the best one for learning. So let's go. Okay guys, so I hope you have already installed the Arduino IDE. If you haven't, then you can watch my previous video on how to download and install the Arduino IDE. If you have already installed it, then you can just continue from here. Alright, so when you open up the Arduino IDE, this text editor screen comes up. And this is where you will be writing your programs and uploading them to Arduino. Okay, one thing you should know is that Arduino programs are called sketches. So when you write a program on Arduino IDE, you can say that you have made a sketch. Which makes you an artist, right? <laughs> if you look at here, this title is your sketch name and that's written here too. By default, whenever you make a new sketch on Arduino, it will be given the name sketch underscore the date it was made on. Of course, you can change this if you want to. You just have to go to files and save and give it any name you want to. Let's call it my first project and save. And yeah, we can see now that the sketch name has changed to my first project and here too. Okay, now let's talk about these buttons here. This verify button will compile your code and check if there are any errors. And this upload button simply uploads the code to your connected board. So when you press this verify button, it will start compiling your program. And this simply means that it's processing your code and checking if there are any errors in it. So when you click on it, you can see the message compiling sketch. And after it's done, you will see the message done compiling. I compiled the program without any errors. That's just genius. I won't need my high school diploma anymore. I am so smart. I am so smart. It is compiling correctly. Then you can press this upload button and upload the code to your Arduino. But if there is any error in your code, then upload will not work. Okay, so another great feature of the Arduino IDE is the example section. So all you have to do is go to files, examples, and all of these you see here are example sketches and these are from basics to advanced and that's just great. I mean someone has already written down a lot of programs for us just to learn. So we are going to go to the basics and blink. Now this blink sketch is like the hello world code of Arduino. I mean when you open up any programming language, the first code you write is the hello world, right? So for Arduino, it is the blink sketch. Okay, so the blink is sketch. Now, you may not understand anything here, but don't worry, we are not going to get into that right now. All we have to do is upload this program to Arduino. And what it does is that it controls a built-in LED on Arduino. And it will blink it, simply turn it off and on and so on. It will continue doing that until it's powered up. So we're just going to upload this code, nothing more. Okay, you need to connect your Arduino Uno with your computer with the USB cable. Okay, did you hear that notification sound when I connected my Arduino board to the laptop? That's because my laptop is acknowledging me that whether I have connected or disconnected the Arduino board. And this means that your laptop is detecting the Arduino board and the drivers are installed correctly. So this is important. If you have done your setup of the ID of the Arduino ID correctly, then you should hear this sound every time you connect or disconnect the Arduino board. And then go to tools, port 
and then you should see this Arduino Uno here and you need to select this. So this is like selecting the port through which you are going to upload the code to the Arduino. So if you connect the Arduino, this port should come here and then you need to select that. And once you have done that, all we have to do is just upload the code. Also make sure that the board selected here is Arduino Uno. By default this is on Arduino Uno but if you have changed it make sure that it's on Arduino Uno otherwise it will not work. Okay so we're going to press upload a sketch and it's done uploading okay. So after it's done uploading, you should see the LED has started blinking. And that's what this code does. That's what this blink sketch does. It blinks the LED. Oh my god! Wow! I know this is not as cool as moving a robot uh, or like a cool project. You clap your hands and the light turns off and on and things like that. We are going to do that too inshallah. We'll get there. But this is the first thing you do with Arduino. So this is cool. I mean the first time I did it I was excited. Yay I have blinked an LED. Even though my dad said what is this bull <laughs> Well this is cool. I have taught you something cool. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did please press the like button. And if you're new here please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about electronics or if there is a project that you want to make then you can comment that down below and we will try to help you by making a video or just answering your question. So feel free about that and thank you for watching this video. Hey,